In this video, we're going to talk about how you would construct an angle bisector. Just a reminder of what these words mean. Uh, of course, an angle is just, you know, formed by two segments uh, or two rays, two lines, whatever. Uh, the angle, of course, that we're talking about, we're going to bisect this. And remember, bisect just means to cut in half. So we want to create some segment in here that divides this angle in two. And of course, as we've talked about in previous videos, the temptation is to drag a protractor in and measure and divide it by two. And, but in constructions and geometry, we are only to use a compass and a straight edge. So the compass is going to do all our measuring and the straight edge is just going to help us draw our segments. If this video helps you, please like and subscribe for more geometry content. All right, so let's put in our compass. All right, so I'm going to place the point of my compass at the uh, at the, the vertex of my angle, and I'm going to draw in an arc. And the size of this arc really isn't important. Um, it, it's arbitrary, and I'll explain that in a second. But I'm just going to draw in, and you'll notice I am going to uh, also lock this in place once I have this. So here's my, my arc, okay? And now I'm going to drag my compass point over to the intersection point between the segment and the arc that I drew. And I'm going to just come down here and I'm going to draw another arc. And again, just part of a circle with the exact same radius as I, I made to begin with. And then I'm going to redo that, drag my, my uh, compass down, put it on the, the other intersection point, and I'll draw another arc. Now, I'm going to just, uh, real quick, just move this out of my way. And I am going to draw a segment from the original vertex to the intersection point. And that has bisected my angle. Now, I think just by the eyeball test, most people would say, yeah, it looks like it did cut it in half. You know, it does look like, in fact, uh, this piece and these, this piece are exactly the same. But let me just talk about why this worked. And again, I want you to kind of think about the fact that we created, let's say, two triangles, okay? I get a triangle here and another triangle here. Now, because we use the compass to set that original length and say, well, then this and this have to be the same because, of course, every point, you know, on the arc from that, that center point is the same, but then we reuse that same thing right here. We created isosceles triangles, and isosceles triangles necessarily have angles, two angles across from the two sides that are equal. Remember, an isosceles triangle has two equal sides. The angles across from them are also equal. So by using that compass to ensure we created an isosceles triangle, we had to make uh, an equal angles. So again, uh, you know, just using these simple tools, we were able to bisect this angle without needing a protractor. Again, if this helped you, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Really enjoy it.